immune thrombocytopenia, which is known as ITP for short, is a disease that's associated with a low platelet count. Yep. I'm presenting some data on, on, a, on a, a very new agent, which is an inhibitor of, of neonatal FCR receptors. The FCR, the neonatal FCR receptors are, are the receptors in the cell that bind immunoglobulin, IgG, IgG which is the uh, predominant uh, immunoglobulin subclass for which the autoantibodies in ITP sit. We developed this a phase two study with three arms, a placebo arm and a treatment arm with two doses, five milligrams and 10 milligrams uh, per kilogram. And we, we used that to, to find the right dose to see how effective that was going to be. We recruited patients into that um, um, around mid-30s, so we had 11 to 12 patients in each arm and looked at the results of that, giving th four infusions over a three-week period, uh, and then monitored the response both on the IgG levels, the platelet count, and any bleeding manifestations. The results were really quite um, gratifying and, and, and confirmed our proof of concept that the, the antibody levels dropped along with the immunoglobulin. The platelet counts went up quite quickly slightly more quickly in the 10 milligram arm than the 5 milligram arm, although it wasn't, wasn't great. But in particular, in the placebo arm, in the standard of care arm, we saw no change in any of those parameters. And halfway through the study, we developed a, 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 an, an open labeled extension of the study. So patients who responded could continue, and any patients in either of the three arms who hadn't responded could continue as well. And what we saw with that, that some of the placebo patients responded, and more interesting, the patients in the five uh, milligram arm also responded at 10, having not responded at the lower dose. And then we saw a continuing response in patients on 10. And the response rates in that open label arm were, were over 50%, which was particularly good because we'd actually chosen a, a rather uh, refractory group, a group of whom um, between 10 and 20 percent had had splenectomy, of whom nearly a quarter had failed the thrombopoietins. So we'd actually chosen a specifically difficult group to look at, so we were challenging the drug to show us what it could do. So to get responses in the actual phase three arm of between 40 and 50 percent and in the open label extension study of over 50 percent was really quite impressive.